Welcome to Numbers World. Today we are going to solve past papers of ICATS Mathematics Contest of year 2017 for grade 3 and 4. Question number 1. There are originally 280 houses in an area. During a housing boom, developers built 145 more. How many houses are there now in that area? There were 280 houses already and 145 houses were built more. To find out the total, we will add the given numbers. The sum is equal to 425. So we may say that there are 425 houses in that area now. That is our option C. Question number two, what is the difference between the largest and the smallest four digit numbers that are formed by the four numbers 3, 6, 8 and 0, where each number must be used once and only once? To make the largest four digit number, the biggest number will be written at the first place, which is 8 over here. Then we will write 6, after that 3, and 0 will be written at the end because it is smallest of all. Now we have to make smallest four digit number. To do that, usually we write uh, the smallest number at the first place and adjust rest of the numbers accordingly. But here 0 is smallest of all. If we if we write 0 at the first place, the number is 368, which is not a 4-digit number. It is a 3-digit number because 0 has no worth if it is written at the first place. To make the uh, smallest 4-digit number, we will write 3 first. After that, 0 will be written and then we will write 6 and 8. So the smallest 4-digit number is 3068. As it is mentioned in the question that we have to find out the difference between the largest and the smallest four digit numbers. So when we subtract the numbers, the difference is 5562, which is our option B. Question number three, if star multiplied by star multiplied by star is equal to 125, then star multiplied by eight is equal to what? So basically, we have to think about a number. If we multiply it by three times, the answer is equal to 125. Or otherwise, we can take cube root of 125, which is 5. If we multiply 5 three times, we get 125 as our answer. So uh, the value of the star is 5 now. We have to calculate star multiplied by 8 is equal to what? Now we know that the value of the star is 5 and we multiply it by 8, the answer is equal to 40. So option B is the correct option. Question number 4, as in the figure below, the right scale has the chicken and the plate and the left scale has only the plate. How much does the chicken weigh? So we can see that 0 is in the center of the scales and if we complete one circle of the scale, it is of 1000 grams. So each jump between two bars is of 100 grams. Now, if we look at the left scale, when we have just the plate, the needle is at a second bar. So the weight of the plate is 200 grams. And the scale on the right side, when we have plate and chicken both, the needle is at 700. So uh, the weight of the plate is already known, which is 200 grams. We will subtract it out of the total. So the weight of the chicken is 500 grams. If we convert 500 grams into kilograms, that is equal to 0 0.5 kg. So option B is the correct option. Question number 5. Anna is going to a shopping mall to shop from baby items. She goes up from the second floor taking the escalator. If it takes the escalator 36 seconds to go from first floor to third floor, how long would it take for Anna to reach 10th floor? It is given in the question that escalator takes 36 seconds to go from first floor to third floor. It means uh, escalator takes 18 seconds to pass the one floor. As Anna has to go from the second floor and reach to the 10th floor, there are 8 floors she has to pass. So we will multiply the number of floors by the 18 seconds, which is equal to 144 seconds. That is our option C. It will take 144 seconds for Anna to reach to the 10th floor from the second floor. Question number 6. A restaurant bought 90 kilograms of rice in which 24.5 kilograms of rice were used during the first day and 17.6 kilograms were used in the second day. How much rice has left after two days? 
We know the total amount of the rice is 90 kilograms. 24.5 kilograms of rice were used on the first day and 17.6 kilograms were used on second day. Now we will find out the total amount of uh, rice which was used on first two days that is equal to 42.1 kg. To find out the amount of rice which is left after the use of first two days, we will subtract 42.1 out of 90. So here we can write 90 like this because there is always a decimal at the end of all the whole numbers. And then we can add zeros according to our need. As there is one uh, digit after the decimal of 42.1, so we will write one zero after the decimal of 90. Then we will write 42.1 under it and subtract the numbers. The remaining amount of rice is 47.9 kg, which is our option C. Question number 7. What is the perimeter of the rectangle? The formula of the perimeter of the rectangle is P is equal to 2 into L plus W, where L is representing the length and W is representing the width of the rectangle. The value of the length is 6 cm and the value of the width is 5 cm. We will put these two values in the formula and solve it. 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 and 11 twos are 22. So we can say the perimeter of the rectangle is 22 cm, which is our option B. Question number 8. A farmer's irrigation system has plastic and metal pipes. He built it with a total of 811 pipes. If he used 142 plastic pipes, about how many metal pipes did he use? Choose the better estimate. We know that there are 811 pipes in total. He used 142 plastic pipes. If we subtract the number of plastic pipes out of the total, the number of metal pipes is 669. So option A is the correct one. Farmer used 669 metal pipes to build his irrigation system. Question number 9. Suppose there is a bottle that contains 6 liters of canola oil. If 4 holes 1 by 8 liters were used after 1 week and 3 holes 3 by 8 liters were refilled, how much canola oil does this bottle has now? We know the total amount of canola oil is 6 liters and 4 holes 1 by 8 liters were used out of 6 liters. I am going to use LCM method here. So let's write a 1 uh, in the, as a denominator of the 6. So as a next step, we are going to convert our mixed number into improper fractions. 8 fours are 32 and 32 plus 1 is equal to 33. So we have two fractions now. Let's take the LCM of 1 and 8. The LCM of 1 and 8 is 8. So we will multiply 6 by 1 by 8. So 6 eights are is written over here and 1 eighths are 8 so I have written 8 here directly. So 6 eighths are 48 so the fraction is 48 by 8 and 33 by 8 will remain as it is. As a next step we are going to subtract 33 out of 48 so the remaining canola oil is 15 by 8 liters. The next step 3 holes 3 by 8 liters were refilled. So we are going to add 3 holes 3 by 8 into the remaining amount of canola oil which was 15 by 8. We are going to convert mixed number into improper fraction here. 8 threes are 24 and 24 plus 3 is equal to 27. The uh, denominators are already same so we don't need to make LCM over here. So 15 plus 27 is equal to 42 and 8 will remain as it is. Now we are going to simplify 42 by 8 which is equal to 21 by 4. As we need the answer in the mixed number form, so we will divide 21 by 4. 4 fives are 20 and there is one remainder. So the answer can be written in the mixed number form like this. 5 holds 1 by 4. So option B is the correct option. 5 holes 1 by 4 liters of canola oil are still in the bottle. Question number 10. A consultant working with a candy factory requested information on the amount of taffy made each day. On which day did the factory make the least taffy? So we can see the table days and the numbers of pieces of taffy are made on each day are also given. If we write all the numbers and arrange them in the ascending order, 
we can say 2261 is the smallest number of pieces of taffy that was made on Tuesday. So option D is the correct one. Factory made uh, the least number of taffies on Tuesday. Question number 11, one o'clock shows exactly five o'clock. How large is the angle formed by the hour and minute hands? If we look at all our options, 180 degrees form a straight line. So option D is not correct. Option C is 100 degrees, which is 10 degrees more than 90 degrees. So option B, which is 120 degrees and option C, 100 degrees are not the angles formed by the hour and minute hands. Option A, that is 150 degrees, is the correct estimation of the angle formed by the hour and minutes hand, which is shown uh, by the clock as well. So option A is the correct one. Question number 12, a university bookstore ordered 32 shipments of notebooks. There were 58 notebooks in each shipment. About how many notebooks did the bookstore order in all? Choose the better estimate. The university ordered 32 shipments and each shipment has 58 notebooks in it. To find out the total number of notebooks, we will multiply 32 by 58. So we may say that university has ordered 1856 notebooks. That is our option C. Question number 13. In a flat complex, there are three windows in each flat and four flats on each floor. How many windows are there on two floors? So there are two floors. Each floor has four flats and each flat has three windows. So we will multiply the numbers to find out the total number of windows. Three fours are 12 and 12 twos are 24. Option B is the correct one. There are 24 windows in the flat complex. Question number 14, the fourth grade of school has eight classes and 24 students in each class. Its third grade has 12 classes with 30 students in each class. How many more students does third grade have than fourth grade? So in fourth grade, there are 192 students. In third grade, there are 12 classes with 30 students in each class. So the total number of students in third grade is 360. Now, to find out how many more students are there in third grade as compared to fourth grade, we will subtract 192 out of 360, which is equal to 168. So, option B is the correct option. There are 168 more students in third grade than fourth grade. Question number 15, Aisha is going to make chili for a football party. It will take 15 minutes to prepare all the ingredients and assemble them in the pot. Then, the chili will need to simmer for 1 hour and 5 minutes. What is the latest time Aisha can start preparing the ingredients if the chili needs to be ready at 12.20 p.m.? So, Aisha requires 15 minutes to prepare all the ingredients and uh, 1 hour and 5 minutes are needed to simmer the chili. The total time she requires is 1 hour and 20 minutes. Her chili should be ready by 12.20 p.m. So, 1 hour and 20 minutes before 12.20 p.m. The time is 11 a.m. So, she can start preparing the ingredients of the chili at 11 a.m. That is our option C. Question number 16. How much money does Javeria need to buy a ceramic vase and 7 silver contracts? The price of the ceramic vase is 26 rupees and price of the one silver core track is 78 rupees. But as we have to calculate the price of the seven silver core tracks, so we will multiply 78 by 7 which is equal to 546. Now to calculate the total, we will add the cost of both the objects that which is equal to 572. So option D is the correct one. Question number 17. Naila kept track of the trick or treaters who came to our door and found that one by five were dressed as ghosts and one by five were dressed as witches. What fraction of the trick or treaters were dressed as either ghosts or witches? One by five were dressed as ghosts and one by five were dressed as witches. So we have to add the given fractions. Whenever we add the fractions, we simply need to plus the numerators only. So 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and denominator will remain as it is. So denominator is 5 here. So the fraction is 2 by 5. Option B is the correct option. Question number 18. Which of the following would complete the figure so that it becomes a 5-pointed star? If we look at all our options, option B is the only one which can make it a 5-pointed star. 
rest of the options will create six pointed star so that's why option b is the correct one question number 19 captain cook has 720 boxes of gold to share between nine pirates how many boxes will each pirate get if they are divided equally so there are 720 boxes of gold and nine pirates to divide the boxes equally we will divide 720 by nine 9 eights are 72 and 0 will come as it is. So each pirate will get 80 boxes of gold. So option C is the correct option. Question number 29 blocks have been glued together as shown in the diagram. How many blocks have exactly three faces that have glue on them? So we can see that two sides of this uh, block are glued. Similarly, two sides of this block are also glued. Now we may write the number of the sides that have been glued for each block. So it's quite visible only one block has exactly three faces glued on it. So option P is the correct option. Question number 21, which shape has a right angle? We know a right angle is of 90 degrees. If we look at our option A, B and C, there is no right angle in these three shapes. In option D, there are two right angles. So, this one is the correct option. Question number 22, you go to the gym 5 times each week. Which of the following is closest to the number of times you will go to the gym over a period of 6 months? We know we can go to the gym 5 times in a week. There are 4 weeks in 1 month. To calculate the number of weeks in 6 months, we will multiply 4 by 6. That is equal to 24. So, we can say that there are 24 weeks in 6 months. We already know that we can go to the gym 5 times in 1 week. Now to find out the number of times we can go to the gym in a period of 6 months, we will multiply 5 by the number of the weeks, which is 24. That is equal to 120. That is mentioned in the question that which of the following is closest to the number of times you will go to the gym over a period of 6 months. So if we look at all our options, option C, 130 times is closest to 120. So we will choose option C out of all. Question number 23, 30 students are lining up side by side. Counting from left to right, the 12th person is Jason. If Helen is standing on Jason's right hand side next to Jason, what is Helen's count if we count it from right to left? So if we write all the numbers in sequence from 1 to 30, Jason is standing at 12th position from left to right. Or in other words, we may say that Jason is standing at 12th position from start to end. So Helen is standing at the right side of the Jason. So she is at 11th position from left to right. But, but it is mentioned in the question that we have to find out the Helen's count from right to left. So we will start counting her position from end to start. So Helen is standing at 20th place from right to left. So option B is the correct one. Question number 24. In the city of Nepal, is all streets are parallel or perpendicular. The distance between two consecutive parallel streets is 100 meters. How many different 500 meters routes are there to get from point A to point B? So each line is of 100 meters and we have to find maximum 500 meter routes to get from point A to point B. So let's do it. Here we have our route number 1. Then root number 2, root number 3 is highlighted using green color. Orange color is representing root number 4. After that we have root number 5. Then red color is representing root number 6. We have 7th root, then 8th. Green color is representing the root number 9. At the end, uh, purple color is representing the root number 10. So there are maximum 10 500 meter routes to get from point A to point B. So option A is the correct option. Question number 25, the largest three digit even number that can be formed using the digit 7, 5 and 4 only once is so the criteria mentioned in the question are that we have to make a largest three digit number and it should be even as well. To make a largest three digit number, we will write the biggest number at the first place, which is seven. 
the second highest number in the middle and the smallest number at the end. So the largest three digit number is 754 as 4 is an even number which is uh, present at the ones place of 754. So it makes this largest three digit number an even number as well. So option A is the correct one. I hope you like my video so don't forget to like and comment on it and subscribe my channel.